Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Sabo. I'm the Executive Director for Arts for All Florida. This month as we celebrate our 40th anniversary, we're focusing on the professional development programs we provide for schools, teaching artists, and cultural organizations. Today's video is gonna focus on our Art and Technology Teacher Institutes and one of our amazing teaching artists, Janelyn Papel. These institutes are supported in part by the Florida Department of Education and the Florida Department of State Division of Arts and Culture. So without further ado, um, welcome Jana Lynn, and thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All right, let's start with the easiest question. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, sure. So I'm a graphic designer and a 3D artist. I am also the executive director of New Technology Made Simple Now, a nonprofit uh, serving youth throughout the East Coast. And I'm proud to be a teaching artist for Arts for All Florida. So I teach students and young adults how to make things using 3D printers, um, 3D design software, and coding. Awesome. So mm -hmm. why did you get involved with Arts for All Florida? So if you don't mind, I'll share my screen and give you some, uh, some, some visuals to kind of convey why I do this. Awesome. So, um, so I applied to work uh, as a teaching artist about four years ago. And because I really believe in the Arts for All Florida mission, um, because of Arts for All, I'm able to work with students with varying exceptionalities that may need assistive devices or modified programming so that all the students are able to participate in all the art focused activities that we offer. Um, I also wanted to be able to share technology with a broader audience and Arts for All provided me with the support I needed to reach more students as well as teachers that wanted to give their students every advantage. And so I'm able to work directly with teachers and the students so that everyone is learning and sharing ideas together. And so it's just really been a great experience. Great. So how long have you been doing or have we been doing the Art and Technology Teacher Institutes and how did they get started? Well, that's, that's a good question, Jennifer. I think we started about three years ago through the partnership with Title IV Part A at the Florida Department of Education. Um, and I believe it started because um, you and I started to notice that many of the teachers I was working with really wanted to continue using technology in their classrooms even after my residency um, ended. And um, it just really, we couldn't, there were, weren't any other art and technology professional development options that I could find mm -hmm. and or that I could send them, uh, direct them to so that they could get additional learning. So fortunately, through the support of Title IV, um, Arts for All and I were able to collaborate and offer the first free two day professional development uh, workshop in Tampa. And um, we learned Tinkercad, Coast Bases and Scratch. And from there it's grown and has continued to be very popular, um, even being offered as virtual uh, trainings in 2020 and 2021. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to continue with our next one coming up. And they're always full. And yes, switching them to virtual has actually worked really great. So uh, that's been an interesting experience switching everything over, but it's worked really well for this type of program. So um, what are the goals of the teacher institutes? Um, well, the I think our both our goals, my goals and um, ours for all is really to empower the teachers throughout the state of Florida with additional resources and tools that they can use immediately in their classroom yeah. and to help build a network of other educa educators that are understand this technology and that can support each other by sharing curriculum ideas and stories. Um, I know uh, Jennifer and I, we both have just gotten so many stories from teachers of how these trainings have helped them and just amazing things that their students are, are creating and just everyone is just has has a very positive um, reactions and um, input from what we've done. And so, but beyond that, we want to give the teachers confidence to expand their digital skills so that everyone can benefit. And I think what you're saying is 100% with Arts for All Florida is everyone can benefit. And you can see um, on the list that you're showing here that 
not only are we teaching them the, the technology skills, but we're teaching them how to differentiate those skills so that their lower functioning students all the way up to their high functioning students and everyone in between can still be successful in the technology programs um, at the level that they're at, or maybe a little bit further than the level that they're at. So I know that's something that you and I have worked on um, a lot is how can we take these lessons? Yeah, and make them so that, you know, all of our kids are gonna be successful in doing them. All right, so our last question is, tell us a little bit more about what you actually teach in the institutes. Oh, okay, well, that's pretty easy. So um, I teach two professional development workshops. One is focused on the introduction to 3D printing and 3D modeling using Tinkercad, which is an online free uh, software that anyone can access on any device. And the second workshop focuses on virtual and augmented reality with CoBlocks using CoSpace's EDU and the Merge Cube. But I think beyond that, we teach more than just the nuts and bolts of thing, how things are made. Um, we're teaching teachers that there's a whole world of new ways to engage and challenge students using real world technology school, technology skills in the arts. And so I'm really excited that, that we get to continue to do this. Yes, and we actually have um, our next session coming up soon in November, our Tinkercad, and then in December, our CoSpaces. So I'm gonna have you stop sharing your screen and so I can share mine just for one more second. And so I just wanted to show a couple comments that we've had from some of the participants in these programs. Um, teachers saying, I learned so many new skills, including techniques and ideas I'd never dreamed of. I plan to use all the skills and strategies when teaching my students so that they can learn how to create unique products on 3D printers. Um, I absolutely loved learning these programs. I had no idea existed. The opportunities my students will gain from learning these programs is truly limitless. I loved interacting and getting to know teachers from different schools and what their programs offer. I'm excited to use what I learned to grow my art program and collaborate with math and science departments. So there's a couple other um, comments on the screen, but we've had such great comments from our participants of basically them all saying, I didn't even know this existed. And now that I do, I can see this is a great career skill that um, my students of all abilities are gonna be able to use to be able to eventually hopefully get some um, careers in STEAM technology and STEAM um, fields. So just one quick thing before we, we sign off for the day, we do a lot of professional development opportunities. Um, if you're interested in learning out more about them, if you visit our website, artsforallflorida.org and click on resources on the top, you can either select education professionals where we have uh, information about all the different workshops we do as well as some resources there or on our webinars, we do webinars um, monthly during the school year, and all of those are free for education professionals. And um, yeah, we hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you so much, Janelyn, for telling everyone yeah. a little bit about uh, the teacher institutes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.